Hi there, this is Janice from Advantage Aromatherapy and Massage. Well, I've got my new mould here. And so this one came from Washington. And it's got cuts at one inch widths all the way down the side, making cutting my loaf of soap a lot easier. So, and with it, I got this new snazzy cutter as well, so quite pleased with that. So I've been wanting to make a spring Easter themed soap. And the colours I thought would be nice for that were yellow and green. So this was the this was my first attempt. So it has yellow and green shreds inside. I've wrapped this one already, but it has um, some of my cosmetic grade sparkle on top there, which is really nice before I cut it. So what I discovered was is that the colours that I've used in this soap are bleeding into the white soap. So I thought to myself, I, I, I like it actually, it's a nice effect and a lot of my customers like it as well. Um, but what I thought I would do is I thought I would make the same loaf again but with different colours, non-bleeding colours, and just see how I like it. So I then made this soap here. And as you can see, the yellow is actually a lot stronger. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. But the green isn't quite as popping as the green in the other soap. Um, it's a little bit more sort of dull, kind of olive kind of coloured. So um, I'm not too sure if I like the green. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make the soap again with the same yellow that doesn't bleed, but a different green. That's what I'm going to do. So, your thoughts and comments would be warmly appreciated. Alright, so it's a lot shallower than I thought. So what I always do is I always cut off, actually this is quite good because I usually just guess and I cut off the two edges for um to to give to people as little samples, little freebies. Um so I'm usually guessing how much to cut off. But now that I can see where all the inch markings are, I'll be able to cut it very evenly. That's quite good. Right, so I don't know quite how to get into this one. I need to be down at the same Yeah, this one's not going to be straight. I might just need to eyeball it from above. It's not moving at all there. I'll look at that again. going wrong down that one. Move it back a bit and try it in the next slot. This is my first time using this cutter, this loaf cutter, so it's not happening. We end up getting one one out until I get used to this one. Right, I'm going to just cut this one down here for a second. Okay. I'll get a cutter. Wait. 
Turn the other one. Yeah, one at a time. One new thing at a time. Right, so there's inside the... See, what I quite like about the non-bleeding colours is that you're getting a much clearer pattern. You know, so your design is is more it's more clear. So I have scented this loaf with lemongrass essential oil. The lemongrass essential oil hasn't been one of my favourites in the past, but boy, it is very quickly becoming a favourite now. I think I'm actually finding that because the soap has been sitting for a couple of days, it's really hardened up. Yeah, it's really hardened up. Are we done there? No, we're not. Don't really want this video taking hours and hours, but there we go. So yeah, that that's really kind of pretty. You know. Um, it's got. But I'm not too sure about the green. That's not standing either. Not cutting. Right. I'm going to get the other one out with it. Hold on a sec. Right. I'm going to use my good old faithful one just until I get used to this one. be getting my kitchen knife out in a minute. I think this this one's a tall bar. Filled it right up to the top so I did. Alright that looks quite nice. So I'm going to make it one more time but I'm going to make it with uh, a different green, a different non-bleeding green and I will come back with a, another video and you can let me know which one you prefer. a thick chunky slice that one. Some customers going to be very pleased with that one. Did you know that when you're labelling soap that the weight on the label is the minimum weight of the product so the product can actually be heavier can have more in it but it can't have less and that's the regulations with labelling it can have more but not less so 
So I don't have a name for this soap yet. And I'm thinking about Easter time, I'm thinking about spring time. It's lemongrass, it's nice and uplifting. Um, get it in the shot there. So if you have any nice names you can think of, then you could have a, a soap named named after your suggestion. Certainly a nice soap to use in the shower in the morning with lemongrass, it's quite refreshing, citrus smelling. And I reckon that this one is actually taken quite a lot of cutting because it's been sat to one side while my life has been hectic recently. Very busy. Fiona and I were playing at the Westwood Hotel on Sunday at a wedding fair. That was lovely, playing beautiful music. The flower duet and all the bridal songs, all the romantic songs for the first dance. And we were playing there uh, with all the ladies, all the models, walking up and down the catwalk with the wedding dresses and the grooms and the fathers of the bride. And it was a really nice day. Really lovely. Just in case you don't know, I, I play clarinet and Fiona plays piano. She's a concert pianist and uh, we're called Musically Yours. You'll find us on Facebook. There we go. Are we focusing on that? This camera's got a mind of its own. It's my husband's. Enough said there. Okay, we're just about coming to the end now. The unique thing about these soaps is that every slice is different. Every slice is unique and that's what I love about them. You know, you won't get exactly the same slice twice. I think that's kind of cool. Sometimes people see these shapes and patterns and pictures in the design as well. Tidy up the edges there. Yeah, that's really nice. I thought I was cramming the shreds into that one, but it actually looks like they're still a good wee bit of white. Looks like I could cram a few more in. And this is uh, this is the last slice here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you comment below, I'll appreciate all your responses. will be a sample too. So usually I'm just guessing it and I end up with one thin sample and one thick sample. But that, you know, I'll have a go at using my new cutter again um, when I've got more time to fiddle around with it. So there we go. We have got my Easter soap that's still to be named. With Lemongrass, essential oil, pure essential oil, high quality essential oil, good for the skin, good for the soul. And these will be able will be available to buy in a few weeks time.
Well, why is it not focusing on that anyway? So, thank you very much for watching my video. And if I can get this camera to focus at all, it says. And I hope to see you all again for the next one. Okay, bye bye.